right, so let's get into Kanata. So Kanata, um, that is the Huron Iroquois word uh, to describe village, right? Um, it was also the word that uh, two Aboriginal youth told to Jacques Cartier when he was in Quebec in 1535, and it was them describing Kanata, leading them to the, uh, to the spot where present-day Quebec City is, okay? So, uh, that's our history lesson about Canada and some of where Canada got its founding name from. Let's get into today's workout, 20-minute EMOM. So, 20 minutes on the clock, okay? Today's workout is as much a strength workout more so than it is a cardio workout, okay? But we're gonna discuss the cardio piece because it's really important that we do this workout properly. We're gonna get max benefit, okay? So, minute number one is deadlifts, double dumbbell deadlifts. Minute number two is lawnmower rows. Minute number three, max rep burpees. So we'll, we'll go over the burpees. I mean, everyone knows what a burpee is. Uh, but we're going to discuss how I want you to attack today's workout. So our first movement is double dumbbell deadlifts, right? So we come up, take a challenging weight. This should be fairly heavy, okay, because it's just 12 to 15 reps. I want you to look at that clock. It's probably going to take you about 30 seconds, 30, 40 seconds, okay? So those double dumbbell deadlifts, you're grabbing your heaviest weights you got. We're here, we're looking ahead, right neutral spine, okay, and we're standing up and our shoulders and our hips come up together every time. And don't just, I don't want you to just hit pinch them as fast as you can, okay? There, if we're doing that, we're really not getting the benefit of those uh, deadlifts, okay? We want to focus on engaging that posterior chain, feeling that in our glutes, in our hamstrings, not in our back, and if you're hip hinging them, you're gonna feel them in your back. So, 12 to 15 reps. That's movement number one. Movement number two, you need to take, get rid of one dumbbell, and then become lawnmower rows. So again, keep it heavy, keep it challenging, because it's six per arm, okay? So a bent over lawnmower row, you see how my leg is now long, right? And we're here, and it's just like we're starting a lawnmower, right? We're pulling that cord, and it'd be six reps per arm. Again, heavy and challenging. I don't want you to take your light one. Then you're gonna switch sides, okay? Six per side. So you can see the first two movements are just some good general strength stuff, all aimed at the posterior chain. Hamstrings, glutes, lats, triceps, okay? So we've engaged the, the, the posterior chain. Minute number three comes, here's our cardio for the day, okay? Max rep burpees. So our burpee, we know a burpee is down to here, chest makes the ground, right? Pop that up, clap overhead, okay? And jumping off the ground. So if we need to step those out, we can step those burpees out. But for this workout to be effective, five times, you must sell your soul doing burpees. Do as many burpees as you can possibly hammer out in a minute. Full range of motion burpees. I don't want uh, like what we call mega specials, right? Staying here, our chest doesn't come to the ground. And divers, okay? We want full range of motion burpees, okay? So, no mega specials, no divers. We want full range of motion burpees, but selling your soul. Your goal is 12 to 15 burpees every time that minute comes up. Minute number four is your rest. You'll get a chance to get your drink. You're gonna come back to two low impact strength movements. So for five working minutes, I want you to burn doing burpees. That's your goal. That's how this workout flows. If we're gonna get the most out of this EMOM, you gotta make it burn, okay? It's not pain, it's just uncomfortable, okay? Pain is serious, discomfort's where we get better. Remember that. Let's go with it, push hard. Your goal is 60 to 80 burpees. So 80 would be 16 on the minute. That is crazy fast to do five times. 60 is 12, very doable. So push hard, push the pace, get uncomfortable, be proud of your effort when it's done. 